Wilbo. Wilbo. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tetsu Omega, and this is Tetsuo Loves Wrestling. On today's show, I'd like to talk to you about my favorite federations and why. And champions in wrestling. Out with the old belts and in with the new. What does that mean? All this and more coming up very soon. Okay. Now, there are a lot of federations, and this year has been very interesting for most. After all, live audience are almost a thing of the past. Most federations, anyway, some of them are carrying limited capacity. But they're all being televised or being shown in some sort of uh, platform. Now, which one is the best? This may sh or may not shock you. At first, it may not shock you, but it will shock you eventually. What I think are the best federations out there and what are not the best. Now, I did not put much ROH. Ring of Honor has not been doing much in this, uh, this trying times. Um, but thank goodness we have um, another WWE thing. Uh, UK is back on, which is great considering uh, they have a lot of great talent that's been sitting on a bench for a while that's been itching to do some work. Well, now let's start off my list. My number one out there brand who has the best product, best wrestling, best build-ups, best talent, best everything. It is... And still, the WWE Universe. The whole thing. Now, for me, this is where it gets interesting. you got to break it down because there's a lot of different brands there. Now, my favorite brand in WWE currently is the NXT brand. Um, which is really... They're, the, the matches are exhilarating. Um, the refereeing is just on point. Um, because we all know what's what wrestling is all about, and the refereeing is very important to keeping it tight. You know, and they they know they know what's that about, and uh, you know they're taking it serious. And uh, NXT is number one. It's like they're keeping it real, so to speak. Number two and number three, number it's all number one. Okay, number one categories. <clears throat> NXT, Raw, and SmackDown. I would put them underneath that. Even though they have uh, more time, more money in it. Um, and this is where wrestlers like to go, to the Raw and SmackDown roster. But nevertheless, though, still, fantastic wrestling, fantastic talent, fantastic writing, great stuff overall. Uh, number three, close behind, is UK. Um, now I would put, uh, I'm not sure what's going with on with 205, um, but I'd say UK 205, same level considering their champion is there. Okay. Now, that's number one. They're fantastic. Now, my number two and number three, they're roughly the same. Uh, my number two wrestling network, <laughs> wrestling um, federation, would be the United Wrestling Network. Um, this one here is like an umbrella corporation of wrestling. It's uh, where many different people go to wrestle, uh, different companies. They wrestle under this. Um, that's what... Uh, they have good wrestling. It's all wrestling. <clears throat> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just um, jet through the list pretty quickly, the next uh, couple. And now I, they're a little bit better than... What I would say, number three, it's New Japan Pro Wrestling. Now, um, New Japan is very much like the way United uh, Wrestling Network operates. They're all wrestling. It's all in the ring. Not much storyline, although there is storylines going on, but it's strict, strictly in-ring performance all the way. Um, so, it's... it's uh, it gets, it gets, you got to really be invested in the rest. You got to really love wrestling being that. If, you, if you're just a part-timer, 
um, you, you probably get bored quick. Number four would be GCW, Game Changing Wrestling, which would be the same category as that, except it's backyard, lower, uh, um, they just don't have the money. So they're backyard wrestling, they're out in the field somewhere wrestling. <clears throat> same wrestling first. Um, you know, uh, or wrestling. But nevertheless, so it's the it's same as uh, you know, it's it's old school wrestling. It is old school wrestling, except uh, the announced team is Little Blue. blue. Um, they use a lot of swear words. It's very unnecessary. It's really silly. I think they think using swear words makes them progressive, but it makes them sound silly. If you can, I mean, dropping the f bomb is fantastic every now and then. To because if you use it too often, it loses its punch. It really does. You gotta you gotta use your words sparingly. <clears throat> Otherwise, you just seem like an idiot. Now, number five, way down on that list, way down on that list, number five. Now, I have not placed ROH on this list at all. <clears throat> if they were going, it'd be number two, probably. They're really good. Um, but impact, uh, that number five, I put all elite wrestling. That's why Cody Rhodes Federation, it started off so, so nicely. Oh, so nicely. You know, so much uh, talent, I guess. Uh, and then they put out this, uh, I guess, another show, sub-show. I guess you can call it you call it sub-show because it's a predictable in every, in every way possible. It is AW Dark. It's absolute nonsense. <clears throat> I don't know why they do it. It's it's ridiculous. I, it's, it's uh, you know... I don't. I barely. I don't even watch any AEW Dark. It is not worth my time. It, they even double the time. Uh, um, I <clears throat> like if you watch anything in AEW, you know who's gonna win by the fact that the, the employees will always win over the the uh, blue chips that they hire for the the match. You know the part timers. The full timers will always win. They do not know where they're going. Like, uh, oh, it is, it's, uh, no, there is one bright spot, one bright spot with AEW, and thank goodness for that, it is the, the I guess the, the greatest, maybe, could I be pushing this, the greatest underground uh, wrestler ever, maybe, right now, is Eddie Kingston. <clears throat> Let's be real here. You know, there is... Facts about Eddie Kingston. There is no way Eddie Kingston will ever be wrestling in the WWE ring. There's no way. Um, no way. He is not what uh, he is not the image of the WWE. Anything. Never. I mean, a champion. Not even close. I mean, there is no way. But. You know, Eddie Kingston is such a great talent, a great mind in wrestling. It's ridiculous. Just because he doesn't have to look. He may look like, a, you know, a stuffed cabbage roll. But he's got the great mind. God damn it. He's got some skills in the ring. He's got skills that pays the bills. He brings it. He brings it. makes it exciting to watch. And then John Moxley. Forget about it. It was fantastic. Not much. There was so much intention, so much uh, heart in there. It was ridiculously good. Um, he's got the great wrestling promos and uh, he's got a good uh, style in the ring. He knows how to bring it. And he could be a great addition to becoming, I don't know, champ. He's great at pushing people through. He knows how to in 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 motivate. <clears throat> Eddie Kingston's great. Now, I would like to talk about champions in wrestling. Now, what does that even mean? What do champions even mean in wrestling, you know? Um, we got uh, the antiquated belts. They're all antiquated belts. We all know what wrestling is and what wrestling isn't. Um, there are no weight classes in wrestling. It's ridiculous because, uh, you know, we all know what it is. It's fixed. It's a show. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, so... Uh, the most belts that make no sense is uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling has five, come new, soon, six, pretty soon six belts. Um, 
that is individual championship belts six of them six six belts okay um now they have five currently going apparently it's they got the heavyweight championship belt and they've got the junior heavyweight championship belt it stops there no cruiserweight forget it you know they're all heavyweights down there next one is the united states heavyweight championship belt then it, they've got the very much uh redundant intercontinental championship belt now new japan is multicultural multinational everybody's wrestling there so having that belt is kind of ridiculous because it is a new japan belt now represents everything so that if you think that's ridiculous no it gets even worse no they got the one called the never open weight but it makes much sense as a sock monkey in a bathtub it's it's ridiculous another belt i guess make people feel important we all love belts we all love them i love them but we got to make them mean something these mean nothing okay now they want to make a new belt this one's new apparently it's called the king of pro wrestling belt KOPW. What does that even mean? King, what is going to replace the heavyweight championship belt? I guess it's supposed to be new king of pro wrestling, which is ridiculous. So a new belt because I guess we all love champions. Now they do have tag team a division. Um, a lot of they have the junior heavyweight tag and a never open weight tag. <clears throat> Both absolutely ridiculous. Now even the WWE, all their belts are except for the tags they're redundant they're ridiculous okay now all the belts they got the brand champions um it's this heavyweight champion of raw smackdown nanox tuk even 205 has their heavyweight championship which is 205 cruiserweight championship um they are the secondary belts which is the US united states championship belt they've got the ic championship belt They've got the North American champion, not to be confused with the United States championship in this whole of North America championship belt. Um, and they've got uh, the cruiser, cruiserweight belt. Now, they also have the most of uh, a belt that the most useless of belts in the WWE, although I'm not sure most useless belts of all time, but WWE is the most useless belt, is a 24-7 championship belt. It's a job for, for uh, R-Truth, I suppose, which is fantastic for our truth and anybody's doing nothing they can run around a ring and stuff like old uh benny hill now aew also has a bunch of championships not that many they have uh three individual belts um for the men one for the women um they've got of course the brand champion i'm not sure what it is the aew uh, championship belt um now they got the secondary belt which is uh, clearly was made for Cody Rhodes because uh, why on earth would Cody Rhodes leave to start his own thing and yet not be a champion? Of course, he can't be the ADW champion because that'll be, uh, you know, bias. You know, how can he? So he has to make a new one and it's the TNT Championship belt. And I'm pretty sure he still is that. And the most pointless belt of all is the uh, FTW Championship. It has his. Um, the friggin' Taz Wrestling Championship belt held by Johnny, uh, Johnny Cage, whatever his name is. Cage. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, you can just take the, all these belts away and just toss them in the garbage. And you might ask, uh, what exactly are we going to replace these excellent belts with? These pointless belts with? Something that matters. Points, belts that matter. Now, what belts matter? Okay, now... Who would you want to be as a brand champion? This should be the heavyweight champion? No, no, no. No. An open weight champion? No, it's ridiculous. Um, now, I say that because people like CM Punk have become world champion. Heavyweight champion. Now, what is a brand champion? Brand champion should be someone who, who is works beyond everybody else, who is better than everybody else. Clearly is better than everybody else. And that should be represented by an Iron Man championship belt. Because a 60-minute Iron Man championship match will prove who is physically the best. And it can just do it. 
you know, I mean, it is what wrestling is all about. It is who is the best of the best in best condition. That is it. Okay, that's number one. But there should be other belts. And what should they represent? I think they should represent uh, a fighting style. Because weights are silly, you know. One should be maybe uh, a Greco-Roman style. Like, a lot of rules. No punching. It's wrestling. Like, uh, and you can only win by submission. So it's a very stylized belt. It's the best. I mean, hey, it's, it's very stylized. You know, uh, it brings a different aspect to it, which is fantastic. Uh, but it's not for everybody. Which was why I decided to have the third belt, which is, I would call, the Lucha Brawler. The fighter belt. Which is anything goes, high flying, you know, this would be what uh, any belt would represent. The best of uh, a fighter, or best of a wrestler can bring. But not the greatest, because it's uh, obviously the Iron Man belt. So... That's what belts I would bring. Get rid of everything else because they don't mean anything. A health and championship, what does that even mean? Intercontinental champion, what does that mean? You know, all these uh, heavyweight champions, everybody fights everybody. It doesn't matter who they are. It's all fixed. But it's fun. So belts got to mean something in this day and age because we all know what's going on. Now, my biggest problem is also tag teams. I think there should be teams in wrestling. But what does that even mean? Like, uh, I've seen tag team wrestling in different organizations, and it just, uh, they just come in and just, it just, it's so much nonsense. I think a tag team, there should be two tag team championships. One would be a straight up rest, tag team match. One person, one on one in the ring, um, they gotta be tagged in, like a straight up tag team match, how it should be. Um, a tag team um, could be a team could be represented uh, many people can be in team uh, organization, a team but in the ring, two people are representing the team, a regular tag team match one person, one on one in a ring they can tag in and out um, there are certain rules can be bent in it but that's what it is the second one I'd have is a uh, like a tor Texas tornado type where, uh, yeah I would say, uh, you know, maybe, no, two people in a ring. Three people, I'd say maybe even three. A lot of people have the triple, and this is what it is. The, uh, there's a, a six-man tag championship. I think that's very important, too. If you have large organizations that are fighting each other, you, have a, you pick the best three in your team, and they just go in a ring and just have at it. No rules, only one rule is uh, the count or submission. You know, so the rules are lofty there, which is, could make everything much easier. Now, what I would like to talk about, and finally, is uh, the WWE is finally doing something for their tag team division. It's really good because uh, they got uh, Peyton Royce, with these, well, they're doing a lot of different things with the tag team division. And that I think I'll talk about next time on Tetsuo Loves Wrestling, the WWE, the tag team, perhaps the future of Impact Wrestling, the future of what is most important, AEW, and what is going on with the... Uh, Kenny Omega and a gigantic squash on that uh, a poor guy Sunny Kiss. It's ridiculous. Kenny Omega, all elite conspiracy. Maybe that's all right. Next time on Tetsuo Loves Wrestling. Catch up later. <laughs>